feeling I've been here before. Sorry, we're closed. Alicia, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There, there's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to take care of it when you're finished here. No problem. And if you see Wyatt, tell him I'm looking for him. All right. If I see Wyatt, I'll tell him. So you tell us that the S.I. has the address of this salon, and you come anyway! Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here? I came to get Richard. Do you know where I can find him? Probably in the basement packing up, like everyone else. But I guess with your little memory issues, you wouldn't remember where it is. Don't provoke me. Now's not the time. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right. Especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes. A thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the SI much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. Did you destroy the client files? Yes, it's done. Accounting? Uh, yeah, it's all taken care of. I've just got the suppliers and the VIP files left to do. All right, I'm gonna need a badge for the basement too. Mm, I don't have one, sorry. I have to cover our tracks as much as possible. Understand? Accounting is done. Where... where are they taking us? Loosen up a little. I don't want to die. They all look super stressed out. You're the only person stressing out. Just chill. It doesn't make much of a difference if we die today or tomorrow. It's but... nuts to be scared like that.
sorry, but the SI might show up at any second. I wouldn't hang around here if I were you. What are they doing? I've got to move, and they're still not all here. What are they doing? I've got to move, and they're still not all here. Sorry, but I've given too much today. I don't want your blood. Have you seen Dr. Dunham? Nah, sorry. Ask the masters. Why are you waiting here? We can't leave without Clarice, apparently. Who's that? A fucking starlet who'll do anything for attention. She locked herself in the injection room. Do you know why? Because she's a fucking junkie. Just like all the vintages. Withdrawal makes her totally paranoid. Give us some Trajax to calm her down and we'll finally be able to leave. So, what do we do now? How the hell should I know? We could break down the door to get her out. We don't have the equipment for that. I could ask Dr. Dunham if... No way. We'll figure something out. When is Wyatt supposed to be back? He shouldn't be long now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on such a priceless vessel. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll see what I can do. Roger that. Oh, Leisha. I didn't expect to see you here. It seems like you know who I am, but I don't remember meeting you. Yeah, it's not the first time that that's happened to you. So I came here often? Oh yeah, but it's been going on three years since I saw you last. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham, sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never gonna be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds. So he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda. Or in his examining room in the basement. You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done. 
Why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. Or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Oh, he works here now? Yes, he's in charge of the accounting, recycling the vessels. Really anything the doctor isn't interested in doing. And he's very talented, I imagine. Let's say there are a lot of deliveries, but not a lot of money coming in. If you see what I mean. I do. A blue blood. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room, and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. I can sense that you disagree. Well, I'm supposed to deal with her, but I can't even touch her. Because she's worth too much? What does it mean when you say she's a vintage? They're the donors that have the strongest reaction to the Trajax injections. It gives their blood incredible character, a vintage. But when they don't get their dose, they can get out of control. This vessel flipped out and went totally paranoid. I see. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead and clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine, all right. There's a pass on the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Come on, you've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is... is that you, Betty? No. It's Laisha. Get out of here! Listen, you need to get yourself somewhere secure. It's not safe for you here anymore. All you want is my blood! I won't come out! I won't come out! Music to relax the vessels.
there's gotta be something that will make her come out. Come on. Come out of there now. No, you're going to hurt me! Oh, if only she'd calm down. Richard's grand idea. Injecting substances to simulate the vessel's humors. A pneumatic tube system that connects with the basement, it looks like. Ink blot test. This one's a butterfly. Uh, I've been here before. I'm sure of it.
Richard says that madness isn't an illness. It's a total mess. Juliet. That name. Why... Why does that remind me of something? October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 216 exhibited the first signs of intense resonance increase. Both singlins went from low resonance to a level never before achieved. <laughs> what a flavor. I must admit that even I find it hard to resist. Unfortunately, patient 211 suffered the consequences. I will continue exploring further in this direction. I feel... I am getting closer to the goal. January 27th, 2002, 2240. I thought I was close to a major breakthrough last month. With the promising results from the new types of triple X chemical doses. Unfortunately, it seems I got ahead of myself. It appears that the dose of amphetamines that I gave them was too high. There must have been an error in my calculations. Patients H216, H217, H222, H225, and H226 were lost in the experiment. I must ask Wyatt to find new test subjects. All of this time spent preparing them, wasted. June 
2017, 2008. <laughs> Bill and I are going to create a blood bar of a much higher quality than I thought. I will once again be able to focus on my research and oversee the work of the members of the Chantry. Beryl and his mad ideas. Ultimately, the prince was right. The solution for hunger is in my research. If we manage to stabilize these effects in more inconspicuous containers, we will become invisible to the rest of the world. Whoa, what the... A lab? Shit. It's the SI. We've got to get the fuck out of here. goes back a ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where? Richard is no longer in the test tube phase, it would seem.
It's okay. No, wait. What the? Wait, come back. Wait, come back. Halsey. Halsey. She's not real. It's all in my head. If she wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you. I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true? Then tell me, who are you looking for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what you want from me. Help me, please. All I want is to get my daughter back. But your daughter died ages ago. You'll never get her back. Ugh! You're confusing me. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. There's no point in trying to force my hand. I'm you. It's useless. You are like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please. Give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Yes? Uh, I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It, it's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? Richard is my psychiatrist. He helps me control my beast. You know very well that's not what I'm trying to get you to admit. Of course he's your doctor. But that's not what I'm trying to bring to the surface. That's enough! Stop! I get the feeling that... No. You're not able to remember. I told you that I don't have time for this! Richard erased your memories. Everything that's happened to you and your daughter is his fault. Has always been his fault. Find her. You'll see. I have to save Halsey! Let me go! It's... 
It's happening again. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. Shit, damn it! What the hell was that? Halsey. Shit. Not Cassie. Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters, too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but... Calm the fuck down! You would've done it, too. Any one of us would. Cassie... Shit. Richard. Halsey. Where are they taking her? What the fuck is that? Steam. The pressure must That's have dropped because like of the explosion. Maybe that could help. God, fucking hot! Be careful without your helmet on. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's all right. It's stopped now. Boston Medical Center. Barrel's funneling bodies to them and lining his own pockets then. I'm not sure Hayes will be happy to hear she's losing money like that. A storage room, huh?
now nobody can use it. Shit! Is he conscious? 